Coming up to speed with what's happening with the price of oil continuing its climb, traders betting it will actually take a bit more time than initially anticipated before Libyan oil actually comes back online. The battle for Tripoli has now become a manhunt for Colonel Gaddafi. After sweeping on into the capital yesterday, the fight is centered around the dictator's compound, but he's still nowhere to be seen. Gaddafi's son and heir, Saif al-Islam, made a defiant appearance in Tripoli. Designed to quash reports of his capture, he told supporters the regime had, quote, broken the backbone of the rebel offensive. Well, a return to democracy in Libya means a return to free trade. Let's cross to Lara Satrakian, who's in the region in Dubai for us. Lara, when could we see more Libyan oil on the market? Well, Mariam, analysts saying today that markets got ahead of themselves yesterday when the price of Brent crude dropped on hopes that light sweet crude from Libya would ramp up quickly. Remember how quickly it dropped from 1.6 million barrels per day down to less than 100,000 barrels per day. Barclays coming out and saying it's going to take months, maybe more than a year, to fix the war damage. Societe Generale saying that we, can't, we might not see exports reach their prior levels until 2012. But for now, rebel officials saying they can get hundreds of thousands of barrels per day out there well before that. Mariam? Oh, Laura, tell me a little bit about the companies which have the most at stake, or at least those that will be uh, looking to increase their role in the market as production returns. Well, it's certainly European firms that have had the biggest hand in Libya's oil sector so far. Companies like Eni, Repsol, and Total. And for others like BP, it was a matter of pure potential, billion-dollar offshore exploration deals that were waiting in the wings. Yesterday, we heard from Eni's chairman. He said that he's confident his company will get back to work, that old contracts will be honored in the new Libya. On a business uh, um, angle, uh, I would say that, uh, of course, is very good news because Libya is a um, big resource of um, um, uh, commodities or energy commodities for Italy and for any. We have uh, about 13 percent of our revenues coming from there. So the fact that the market is opening up again uh, is definitely good news. Mariam, in terms of who wants in and might lose out, analysts telling us today that Russian and especially Chinese firms may not do as well in the new Libya because their governments didn't back the rebels outright from the start. Today, Chinese officials making comments that are seen as cozying up to the rebel government that's now seen to be in the ascendant. Mariam? Thanks very much. Lars Trakin bringing us up to date with what's happening in Libya there from Dubai.